Good morning, beautiful people. My name is Amanda Zitto. If you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. This morning, we are making shakshuka for breakfast. Have I had this before? No. <laughs> this is a fresh off the grid recipe, again, that I'm modifying for myself. I will leave links to that recipe down in the description. It's going to be pretty indulgent and hopefully it's gonna keep me warm for the ride home. <laughs> So I'm gonna be using the other half of my onion from dinner. I have an egg and my handy little carrier here, a poblano pepper, we're gonna use half of a red pepper. We also have paprika and cumin, and under better circumstances, I would also have garlic cloves, but I'm gonna use garlic powder as a substitute. The recipe also suggests topping all of it with feta cheese. Not a huge fan, so we're gonna be substituting some Parmesan. Makes sense. Cheese is cheese, you know? And half a can of tomatoes that I pre-prepped at home. Actually, this is the other half of the can of tomatoes that I used to make chili last night. All right, so we're gonna prep our ingredients. I'm gonna cut up my bell pepper, I'm gonna cut my poblano, and I'm gonna chop up the rest of my onion and we're gonna get all of this going. Now we've got our onions and our peppers all chopped up with a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna add that to the heat for about five minutes to sweat out the onions, and then we're gonna add the tomatoes. All right, once the tomatoes, the onions, and the peppers have had time to get to know each other, we're gonna dig a little well in this mixture and crack your eggs into it. If you're adding more than one egg, space them evenly apart, cover and allow the eggs to cook until the whites have set and the yolk is to your preferred consistency, probably about five to seven minutes. All right, shall we check on it? It's been simmering away for a little while by itself. Oh, it looks so pretty. Yolk is still pretty runny, but I think that's the way it's supposed to be. I like my yolk a little bit on the harder side, but it's been sitting here for a little while and I don't want anything to burn. So I think we're gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna dig in. I'm excited. I also, I've got bread. <laughs> oh, and our cheese. Actually, I decided I think I'm gonna break up this little piece of Baybell and put it on top. Is that ridiculous? No. Mm, that's, that's pretty good. I probably could have had two eggs. I probably would have, I probably should have had two eggs. I brought two eggs. Why didn't I make both eggs? I was scared it was gonna be too much food. That's why. The cheese is very important. I'm also gonna say that I am lo I love the skillet, you guys. This was amazing. I did do like an impromptu test with eggs when I was at home, but this like performed above and beyond my expectations. Same with the trekker stove. I can get so much lower flame on the trekker stove than I could on my Primus. My Primus stove was a good trusty stove, but this was this was very nice <laughs> to be able to get a low simmer on something without having to be on top of it, stirring it constantly to make sure it didn't burn. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. All right, question for my end screen crew. Cider or beer? And no no comments about hard alcohol this one. You have two, you have two options, apple cider or beer. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'll see you later.
it does feel a little bit weird to be so excited about a skillet, but if you watch one of my other motorcycle camping recipe videos where I tried to make eggs in a stainless steel pan, you'll understand why I'm so excited about nonstick. <laughs> oh, now I have to pack everything up. It's gonna take me an hour to do that. I gotta get out of here at three if I wanna get back to Portland before the sun sets. It's 1.40 now. I, was, I made myself lunch. This wasn't even breakfast, it was lunch. I can't even call it brunch. It wasn't even close. <laughs> okay, I suppose I should actually clean up, pack up, and get my buns out of here. Some water. The way that I clean up, this is definitely not the perfect way. I am not doing a how-to. But the way that I clean up, I pour some water into the pan to rinse it out, get all the big food chunks out, and then I will heat up more water and use the hot water to actually like put soap in it and wash the pan and rinse it out. It seems to work out okay for me. 